فتوكل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا My beloved brothers and sisters when a person falls ill immediately many people would actually think to themselves let me take a little bit of medication let me see what i could do let me perhaps have something that i might have within the house and inshallah i'll feel better very soon and then they find that they're not getting better and so what happens is they think to themselves let me visit the doctor or let me speak to someone else and they either visit the doctor or speak to a professional and what would happen at that particular time they feel reassured within themselves when the doctor diagnoses the problem they have and tells them that you need to have this medication or that medication it is prescribed and mashallah they would make their way to the pharmacy or wherever they're going to get that medication and they will start the course and psychologically they begin to feel that they're having something and they may even give a bit of feedback to the doctor to say i'm feeling worse i'm feeling better etc there comes a time when even that doesn't help and the reason why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows a believer to go through certain stages at times is in order for us to realize that the mistake was right at the beginning the minute we fall ill the minute calamity strikes the first thing we need to do is turn to allah iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in so many times a day we repeat you alone we worship you alone we ask for help i will worship allah alone and i will ask for allah for help and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then facilitate for me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then facilitate for me and grant me the ability to do that which is correct, to do that which is filled with blessing from every angle. There is no point in being cured medically and physically when spiritually we are ill, we are sick, when religiously we are far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So mankind due to his weakness starts off on the wrong side by relying primarily upon the medication or the doctor or whoever else it may be or himself or his expertise or whatever he's read or knows and nowadays even on google subhanallah so you find allah is removed from the equation and this is where we falter the difference between a believer and one who does not believe is that the believer primarily turns to allah 